everyone. Uh, Palumbo's Gumbo's here, and I came to Italy because I've been hearing a lot about their wine that they have here. Now this is a, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know wine in the least a little bit at all. So there's probably gonna be more to this. There's probably gonna be more wine tonight, today, over the trip. I'll just record whenever I get it. So that's why there'll be a lot of jump cuts as such, but hey, we got some wine. Yeah, it smells, uh, smells red, I guess, if you could, if the color red had a smell, I'd say this is red right here. Kind of fruity, uh, kind of, hey, yeah, not a big wine person, you know. Okay. Love the Italian rap scene here. Amazing music. Now let's let's give this a taste. <laughs> Time to act like a wine snob and say, you know, oh the, the texture is a little uh, dry, you know. The, Pretty tasteful, but a bit dry, you know, like that. It's wine, all right. It's red. It tastes kind of like grapes. This is apparently a big winery located here in Pisa. Luca, I mean, I'm, yeah. Big winery located here. They have about 100 acres, three stray dogs. And that's what I've seen so far. I'll update you when I get my next class. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Back again. Here I have a nice uh, antipasto plate. Antipasto plate to uh, mesh with it, you know. Nice little thing to go with the wine. So, first we have, uh, as they say it in Italian, prosciutto e melone. Or as it is an American, prosciutto with melon. Mm. Salt and the meat. Pretty good together, to be honest. Then we have this. I'm not too sure what this is. It's like a bread with nut in it. Could be cheese in there. Delicious. Just delicious. This is really good. Mm. And last but not least, we have some nice, fresh, Homegrown apples with homemade honey, farmed right from the bees of Italy. Mmm. Wow. This is good. This is really good here. Nice uh, prosciutto. Nice apples, you know. You got everything here. And also, you got a new strain of, yeah, strain of wine. This one is a 2016, I forget the name of it. Ooh, this smells uh, much stronger than the last one. It was a little bit, God, I am not a wine, so. Tastes like tastes like if you left fruit out in the fridge in no container for a few days. Like it just sort of tastes like fruit, I guess. I mean this I mean it is pretty good. I mean it's Italian wine for God's sake. It's some of the best in the world. But I don't know. I think I just need to, you know, taste more wine so I can become a real wine snob at heart. 
Hello everyone. Uh, here we have a nice uh, 2015 vintage. Uh, something about it being from like the 1800s or something ridiculous. I don't know. But yeah, so. Eh. Smells like the other two, I guess. Eh, it's alright. Yeah, let's just. Mmm. Wow. Harsh aftertaste. But it's alright. You know, it's, it tastes kind of dry. Sort of like it's been in a glass for like a thousand years or something. Man, wine is so weird. It's a, it's a nice pretty good. I'd give it a alright. See, see you in the next one.